Greetings. So I found the solution to this this morning with my five-year-old building a fun little spreadsheet with him. Alexander Ivanov has written this script back in 2014. He has a video, but it's also uh, not as detailed as what I'm going to make today for those in the comments that had questions about how exactly to do this. I've copied the script that he uses here, um, and this is the main script for the code.js extension file. You'll also need this code down here, which is a script for a page.html file. I've got screenshots and directions here. I've got the link to this whole spreadsheet that I'm using in the description below, so you can take that and use it yourself. Basically what you do is copy this script, open up the apps script from the extensions drop-down menu. You will see uh, just a couple lines in there, just delete those, paste in what you just copied, make sure to save it, go back here, grab this page.html code, and here's the first thing I had trouble with, or I just missed, you need to create a new file. It's going to be an HTML file, it needs to be capital P page. Same thing, delete that and replace it with what you copied. Make sure you save this, so both of those are saved, and you can close that out. That's all you need to do. Now, uh, you need to make sure that you're not copying and pasting some malicious code in there, so be responsible. Um, from here, reload your page, and after a few seconds, you should get a drop-down menu right up here that we created. Uh, where is it? Right here, Create Menu, and you can rename this if you want. But there it is, and it's got Show Dialog. Now, the first time you run this, I've already done this, but it's going to pop up some dialog saying, hey, do you trust this? This doesn't look safe because it's not an approved app or whatever. Just click through that so that you approve everything, and then this will pop up. Now, how does it actually work? Well, let's say you've got some data validation in these cells over here. We're going to add that to these. And it needs to be a list from a range. So this is another thing I discovered. It can't be just a list of manually entered items. It won't work. It's got to be a list from a range. Select the range. I've created this list of favorite colors. Then save. And this works like you would expect. However, when my son said, hey, I want to do red and blue, well, there's not a way for that until you add this code. So click Get Validation from Current, and voila. Now you can indeed do red and blue, and then you click Fill Current, and boom, there it is. Same thing down here. Get Validation from Current. Well, let's do purple, red, and white for that one. Boom. Uh, and that will allow you to put multiple things in here. Now, check this out. Uh, it will still give this error. It will stay invalid, even though it's letting you put it in there, because it's not technically meeting the criteria of a proper uh, data validation. But it, uh, it won't reject the input as long as, as long as you've got show warning and not reject input. Okay, so that's, that's another thing that, that will need to be selected to make this work. Hope that is helpful for clearing this up. Gut sheet. Goodbye.